Okay, so I'm uh, Andy Campbell, the head of product at Applied Blockchain. Uh, we're really happy to be here at Consensus and speak from the Behind the Ledger booth. Uh, we're recent members of the Behind the Ledger Foundation, which we'll go into. Um, to go uh, give an overview of, of Applied Blockchain and what we do. So we were founded in 2015, uh, originally as a uh, development studio, so building bespoke blockchain projects. Um, we've done projects for uh, a 50-50 mix, essentially, between enterprise and startup. So um, uh, our biggest customer is, is Shell, who we built a uh, bespoke trading platform for, um, which uh, is, is useful for most of their trades. Um, and we've also done things in the crypto space, so Oculus you may have heard of, um, and also other uh, NFT-based projects and, and crypto-based projects. We kind of do a 50-50 split between enterprise and, and startup, essentially. Uh, yeah, so you can see here a list of, our, of the customers that we work with, so Bank of America, um, we've also done work with Algorand, um, Archax, who are the first regulated securities exchange in the UK. Um, so we're build, building up their platform, and they're also a, a customer of our product, uh, Simon Data, which we'll speak about. Um, and you can see as well, we, like we've done work directly with Shell, and, and they speak about us very fondly from the CEO here. Um, and yeah, in recent news, we've just joined the Hyperledger Foundation, um, so that's why we're really happy to be speaking here. Um, it really aligns with, uh, with what we're looking to do, the commitment to open source, the commitment and links between blockchain and enterprise, um, and, and that's why we're, we're really happy. Essentially, like we, we joined the foundation because we wanted to make sure that, that enterprise was uh, able to, to get the, the cutting edge of, of blockchain technology, um, and, uh, and, and we're really excited to, to bring this to the foundation. So what, what I want to speak about today is, is, is a, a bit about where we where we see the, the ecosystem going, um, and where we see um, where we see the, the fit for enterprise. So where we see specifically for uh, enterprises that are interested in blockchain, where where we see it going for them. So. Um, Enterprises kind of have a, a, a choice when it comes to blockchains. They have public blockchains, um, which which essentially uh, they, they, they come to public blockchain typically because of the efficiencies that they see. So uh, things like uh, delivery versus payment, and they see the things going on in DeFi, they see all the real-time settlement, the uh, composability, um, they see all of these uh, efficiencies. The public blockchain in enterprise is, uh, is very challenging for them to adopt, essentially. So um, the, the reason it's challenging is because of uh, all the data is public. This is a, a fundamental challenge for using uh, using public blockchain and enterprise. You might be able to do some smaller use cases and smaller proof of concepts on public blockchain, but it becomes very, very challenging when you start trying to do uh, more deep uh, technical things. So if you're trying to do supply chain, you know, are enterprises going to be comfortable putting all their supply chain data on top of uh, public blockchain? Probably not. And eventually every use case gets some level of privacy and it becomes a block. So the, the alternative that, that, that's been provided is, um, is ent uh, enterprise private blockchain. So with enterprise private blockchain, uh, we see it solving some of the privacy needs, um, so um, some of the, the privacy requirements in blockchain. But uh, then it comes with its own challenges. Specifically, every party needs to host a node, and this this becomes a, a real challenge for for getting a, a use case beyond proof of concept. So getting beyond that proof of concept stage and getting into the um, uh, essentially beyond pilot, because it essentially means convincing all stakeholders to host a node, run a node. Um, and we also see this as a challenge for delivery versus paid. So. Um, yeah, we, like the, the reason it's a challenge for delivery versus payment essentially is because some of the privacy features mean that there isn't group validation. Um, so what we're doing with Silent Data is we, we're bringing in zero knowledge rollups to the blockchain ecosystem um, and specifically into enterprise, and we build a privacy wrapper for these zk rollups. So this means we can have the deployment in one location, one place. Um, we don't need a network of nodes, 
and we can still have permission privacy within smart contracts. So smart contracts can decide which data they uh, essentially tie into um, and which data gets revealed to which parties. So we could, can still create regulator views, we can still create um, views for, uh, for certain institutions, we can do role-based access control directly within smart contracts, um, but we get a single deployment. So we don't need a network of nodes anymore, we can have a single deployment um, and we actually inherit the security from whichever blockchain we roll up to. So we can use a zero knowledge roll up to roll up to a, um, a public blockchain or a private blockchain that's decentralized. And we inherit the security of that blockchain without the need to uh, actually host a node in that blockchain. So essentially we have a single deployment and we see this as fundamentally more efficient. So we still get all the privacy, we still get uh, delivery versus payment, we still get all of the things that we want from the blockchain, but we get a single deployment, which is uh, just fundamentally more cost efficient and fundamentally more operationally efficient, essentially. Um, so if, if you're interested to find out more about this, we're speaking uh, at 3 p.m. We have an event in the Hyperledger meeting room 8B, um, and we're going to be presenting there how we've used certain data rollup to add um, privacy to ERC 3643. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. Have to take any questions, meet anyone afterwards. Um, thank you very much.